Hello everybody, my name is Mofalk and today we're gonna have a look at a new plugin from Mathmash. Uh, it's a friend of mine and the plugin is called DST, it's Distortion. It's actually a really nice plugin from what I have seen so far and hopefully at the end you'll have a better understanding whether or not you want to get the plugin or not. Let's go. Oh, and before, little disclaimer, I have not been paid for this, but I did get the key for free. So technically it's a paid ad, but I'm free to say whatever I want. So right here in FL, you can see I have made two little preview tracks. Very Matt Nashy, right? And then I have like a more Mofalk. And as you can tell, uh, those two sounds, like the main sounds, are just basic saws. So in this case, right here, uh, we have... Right, we're gonna add some like stuff to this. And then in the other case, we have uh, just this. For the moment you've all been waiting for, DST. Boom! This is what it looks like. Now, straight off the bat, very nice looking. Like, it just looks nice. So let me explain it very quickly. We have presets up here. We have different distortion modes. I think they go from not as harsh, like relatively harsh and very saturated. And down here we have again a distortion. We have low, low mid, high mid, high and output. And those are basically frequency bands. The interesting part about this plugin is not that it's a distortion plugin. Yeah, we have had many distortion plugins before, but in this case the distortion is universal. So all of the frequencies are getting the same kind of distortion, but we can change the volume of each distortion individually. So the amount of distortion is the same, but the volume changes. There's also more flexibility where you can actually like change the bands and change the volumes individually, and then it sounds even more crazy. But for now, we're just going to go with the default because I just want to show you what it sounds like straight off the bat. So if we take off the reverb here and we listen to this... You can already tell it's making the sound like just a little bit crispier and louder. That is also one thing. And if we dial up the distortion, let's turn that output count down a little bit. And now we can play around with these like settings here as well. So. Oh. so this is basically just a frequency control. So this is for the first one, right? Uh, let's go to the second one now with default settings. Third. It just seems to be like more distortion. I don't exactly know how this works behind the scenes. Let's just go for the first one and let's try to get a really cool sound um, just from the, the preset. Let's see what this preset does. Oh my god, I mean, that's just for a saw wave as well. It's just one saw wave. Let's add a little bit of stereo to this. How does it sound if we just have like a bunch of these, one after the other, like that? It does make it very nice. But it does make it so much louder. Like, you need so much volume control on this plugin, it's crazy. All right, second track. So I think the first thing I wanna do is fix that bass up. So right now, it's very basic. And I've actually done that on purpose because usually I put very much distortion on this stuff. And instead of using my usual Saturns, and I thought I would use Dist instead. So right now, we're working on this sound here. And let's just go through the presets. Those were all of them. There's not that many presets, I wish there was a little bit more. So immediately what you can tell is that it makes things very, very loud very quickly. Same thing on this one, Let's give it a little bit more dist. Just off the bat, that made it so much better already. Alright, let's get another one in. I like that, I'll just 
you know, leave that on, give it a little bit of texture. How about now? That's a little bit much high end. Okay, so again, volume control, very difficult. It does sound kind of nice, um, but it sounds very different from what I think it should sound like, which is interesting. Like you're getting a lot of EQing stuff happening without really trying to get that. But it does make it very nice and crisp, which is cool. All right, let's work on this. Let's try to make a bass out of this. So what I'm thinking is like a vocoded bass, like this. I think that could sound super cool. There you go. Uh, let's add one disc for now. I actually like the default setting so much because it just makes it a little bit louder, a little bit nicer. It's routed through the bass thing as well. That's really cool. Let's make it a little bit stereo for now. Compression. Okay. Without the dist. Okay, that just makes it like warmer in the low end. Not a big fan of the presets. Like they're very aggressive, which is good, but I just want like a little bit of texture. Oh man. Again, it gets very loud, so just take down the output. Oh, that is cool though. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, we need to do the ultimate test now, right? So we have this. Let's see what this would sound like if I were to do my traditional Saturn way of distorting stuff. Okay, so you be the judge of it. This is my traditional. Let's see. And this is the dist. Keep in mind, I'm not the best with dist yet because I just had it for like a day, but. So, I wonder if we can get the dist to sound better if we add a compression stage in between. Okay. That sounds good. What does it sound like? Like this. Okay, it might just be my poor settings on on the discs. What about both of them combined? Oh, that is cool. All right. So, I've played around with it a bunch now. You saw me try it out. I think it is a really cool plugin. I think it does a lot of cool things. For me personally though, I think the main use I'll have for it is just adding it with its default, like a little bit of like tonal, like it just makes it a little bit warmer, a little bit louder, which I think is really cool. Definitely overall, I think this is a really great plugin and it does do exactly what it says it does and it does it really well. It does make things really fast, sound loud, great like color. It's, it's a good plugin for sure. I would recommend you buy this when you have other distortion plugins already. Like there's the defaults that you should have, like, you know, like Saturn, maybe Dirt, your go-to distortion, because I feel like Dist or DST isn't the best at everything. Um, so it's very good at like a few particular sounds, but it's not a general distortion plugin, I think. Like it's very, it's more niche than I think it wants to be. Matt Nash, don't kill me now. I still recommend you get it because it's a cool plugin. What did you think of it? Are you a big fan of the DST plugin? Are you getting it yourself? Did you like the fact I did a product review type of video? If yes, you know, let me know. Should I do more? Should I do less? And that's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, bye bye.